Um, I'm making apple pie. Uh, first, you want to start with the shortening. Um, you want to cut it into the uh, flour using pastry blender. Just kind of scrape it in. Sometimes it gets stuck in the blender. Once your crust is small in this, and it kind of falls like sand almost, you want to start adding your water. You want to do that slowly though, about six to eight tablespoons. You can just eyeball it and mix when necessary. At this stage, you can you can use your hands to mix it together. Um, the pie crust is pretty much finished. Um, when it forms a, a ball like that, you know it's done. It doesn't fall apart. Just a few extra crumbs here and there. You wanna sprinkle your surface with a little bit of flour, just so that the dough doesn't stick. And um, you're gonna want to cut this in half, just right down the middle for your top and bottom crust. This on the flour you're rolling in. Just start to roll it out. It needs to be just bigger than an 8-inch eight, eight, eight pie pan. See if it's perfectly. Now you're going to want to take your dough, this part's kind of tricky, and wrap it around the pin, just like that. So it goes on easier. Here's your bottom layer. You're gonna start with about seven medium apples. You put them all in your bowl. Make sure that they're not too big, but not too small, because you don't want them to um, come out of your pie when it's baking. Uh, we have about a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg here. Just put it in the bowl. Um, a teaspoon of cinnamon. And um, two tablespoons of lemon juice. You can either use lemon juice or almond extract. Both of them work. It's whatever you want. And you also want to add your sugar. It's about a cup. Mix those all together. It gets kind of messy. And just layer it in there. You want a nice hearty pie, so the more the merrier. Just don't overfill it. Now, in order to do the top crust, you can either layer it on top like this, or if you want to get a little bit fancier, um, you can cut it into what is called a lattice top, which means you level out your sides. And you cut out thin strips of pie crust, try to make them even. want to take off a little bit of the excess around the pie. Too much dough sometimes isn't very tasty. Um, the pie crust. And you want to start by layering it out small. Just like that. And you want to stretch all the way across the pie. You can put them as close or as far as you want. But you want to make sure that it's not too far because that's how your apples fall out here. And you kind of just weave them through each other. Just like that. Um, and then the next one you want to go under the first strip instead. So they kind of opposite of each other. Just like that. All right. Once you're done with your lattice work, you want to um, make sure that you tuck the sides in, which seals the pie so that the juices don't come out. And you just want to take your, your sections and kind of fold them under. Try to make them look as best as possible. Sometimes it's not that pretty on the side. Just fold them. Just Peel some off, fold it under. You want to make sure that it's sealed very well because sometimes if you don't seal your pie, um, the juices, they will flow and they will be in your oven and it'll be a mess. Now to make your pie extra pretty, um, if you have some extra, extra dough pieces from the sides, you can take a cookie cutter and just cut out a little design which you can put right on top of your pie. Um, usually I put that on with um, milk. And the milk kind of works as glue. When you put these on, just spread a little bit. Stick it 
right on. And then you brush the rest of your pie with milk also. It helps give it a golden color, so it's not as pale when it bakes. Little hard to scoop in, but you gotta put it on 